Hey everyone, we're here with what's sold this weekend uh, for our online reselling business, not just eBay. Actually, quite a bit of platforms came through this weekend with stuff to sell. This is my beautiful wife, Linda. I don't always look like this. She got a little tricky. adjustment to her nose. Did. Little nose good. ring. So she's trying to live on the edge. Anyways, um, <laughs> we did pretty well in our store this weekend. I'm happy with it. At least a couple of big items getting out of here and then a lot of bread and butter stuff. So babe, you want to say anything before we get started? No. Okay guys, so we're going to go over what's sold. What we paid roughly and what it's going to cost to ship. So let's get into it. What are the totals? So we have a total this weekend of fourteen fifty, and that is for thirty six sales across four different platforms, guys. This is our first time selling on all four platforms that really list the non-do list perfectly. So pretty cool. Feeling pretty good. Uh, about we'll it. start off, I guess, with Poshmark. It's an easy one. Yeah. So Poshmark, we got this Salty Crew T-shirt, and that was one a dollar. Sold for fifteen dollars plus shipping on Poshmark. Yeah, we had it eighteen. He offered fifteen. I'm like, yeah, you can have it because he's paying shipping too. And then we'll go to Facebook. Oh, Facebook. I don't have that one, but this is a pack of Imaginex Marvel characters, and these are these Marvel or DC? They're both. Oh, uh, combo. Yeah. DC Marvel characters. Got Batman. It's got uh, what's his name? Oh, um. I can't think of his name. No, I can't either. Um, but. The, this Joker. pack sold for twenty five dollars sh plus shipping. Yeah, it was thirty Facebook. bucks. I had it listed for the guy said, "Will you do twenty five? And I said, "As long as you're paying with like five something for shipping," and he did. And yeah, we sold these out. So they were listed on all platforms. And this is our second sale on Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. So pretty cool. And those were two bucks for all of them. A little garage sale. Just picked them out of a box of toys, and she said two bucks. And our best sale of the day is also on Mercari. Yeah, our best, the highest dollar amount. Yep. So on Mercari, we've got this Furby. This is a 2005 gray and blue eyes Furby. Piece of wrapping paper on the back. <laughs> oh. Um, so it does work, I believe. I mean, yeah, he works uh, kind of intermittently, but he does work. It's all on the listing. But these ones are harder to find, the 2005 ones, plus with the box. Mm -hmm. um, I got three of these, I think, or two or three of them. And I think I spent like 70 bucks on all of them. We already sold... I think we already sold the other two. Yeah. And, and this is the last one left. This one did sell for $200 plus shipping. Awesome. So we're happy to see that go on Mercari. Again, all three platforms that we're listing on now through List Perfectly are working. So let's go over the eBay stuff. So this one is our big one. I'm at 33 sales. So first up, we've got a Miles Davis CD. This is Miles Davis live in Berlin. It is from the Rock and Roll Buy. Some of the last few things from that buy. And this sold for almost $24 shipped. Pretty good deal for a... CD. Then we got some books. We have this Chopin album for the piano, and that one sold for twelve dollars shipped. I got a bunch of these like piano like or different little books like this one time. I think for like ten bucks for all of them, and most of them are trash, but some of them have sold for a little bit of money. And then we have some Star Wars um, stamps. So these are forever stamps. There's fifteen of them, and are they, they are. I don't think they make anything but forever anymore. Oh. Oh, uh, maybe not because that one says 41 cents. Yeah, they're not okay, they're not forever stamps, guys. These are uh, different um, monetary value stamps. Um, so they get 15 stamps at 41 cents a piece for $15 shipped. Yeah, I bought these, came in a lot from storage unit guy. Uh, I think I spent 200 that day, and we're going to make all of our money back on just these stamps. We've sold, I don't know, maybe eight or 10 of them so far. Um, I have a whole bunch left, so they're going to sell. I mean, we can always use them for everything, but I hope that people are buying them maybe just to collect them because they're kind of cool. Yeah. So, and then our next biggest item, you, you can't really can't see, see it. it's but a huge it's box. up here. We'll put it on the screen. It's huge. I mean, yeah, it's big. So these are a rare set of Costco Kirkland brand um, Wiseman. So they are uh, bronze. No, oh, rare from Costco. Rare from Costco. Well, <laughs> they really make so many... Thing. Pieces. It's an older set, but um, yeah, it, was... it is an older set, but they are all bronze, so they're not like colorful, bronze. they're literally Tone, just bronze, yeah. yeah. And they sold for $150. Shit. These were 50 bucks, so I bought them at a Goodwill, paid too much for them. I thought I might get 200, um, was kind of in the Christmas little theme there and bought them. Um, they're gonna go to Texas, which is why I accepted the offer. I know we'll be able to ship in there and make a little bit of money, not much, not to be worth buying them, but this takes up so much space, I just wanted it gone. So I told Linda we're really cutting back. I told you guys probably too. We're cutting back on some of the bigger items unless they're real cheap and the margin's super high. Uh, otherwise, I don't want to just store them because they take up so much space. I could put a bucket there with a whole bunch of stuff to take yeah. up the same amount of space and make more money. 
Then we got an old listing. This is a shirt. It's a High Seas Trading Company shirt. Uh, it's a margarita fiesta. Yeah, it's got tacos, hot sauce, margaritas sure, yeah. on there. And it sold for $30. Shit. Life of the party if you wear this. There you go. Those High Seas Trading ones are a good brand in the sense that they don't sell for a ton of money, but they have themed shirts that people will buy. We sold a lot of them. Before. Yeah. Then we got a pair of Please and Art slicing discs uh, for the DLC 7, and those sold for 22 and a half shipped. People always need the blades. Then we've got Need for Speed Most Wanted for Xbox Original. Disc only sold for $13 shipped. 13 buckaroos. Then we got a Bumbo. Don't recommend buying these guys. This is one of those things. By the way, we used to sell a bunch of this little flavor aid. It's like knockoff Kool Aid, but man, it sold really well. Found one extra pack, but got it with the writ that day. Um, this, this is the Bumbo. Don't sell these guys. It comes with the tray. Um, the seats kind of faded and everything. They have to have the straps in here or the strap kit because there was a recall on them because kids were falling, I guess, and getting hurt. So they got out the straps in there, but. These used to be a big bolo. You could get 60, 70 bucks like in a day of listing it. So you pick them up for five bucks, you could sell it for 70 ship right away. It's really changed. It's been out for a while. It's sold for. It sold for 44 ships. 44. Um, the problem is they're so big, you really don't make a whole lot when it's all yeah. said and done. I have one more over here that I got in a bulk buy and I don't have the tray for it. So I'm just going to probably don't or get rid of it. If you find a tray out there, you might put a seller replacement tray though. That might be an option for you. But yeah. don't recommend getting into those. Okay, and then our next sale is a Hamilton Beach Scoville smokeless rotisserie motor, and that sold for $26 plus some cheese. This is like the Farber rotisseries, but it's a Hamilton Beach one, so you just put it on there, and you put the little thing here, and it spins around, so. Next up cool is hat. a Probably rare. one of the coolest items. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is a rare golf um, you can kind of hat, see, it looks so it's like Warner a golf Brothers, ball. it looks like a golf ball, it's got Taz on it. And it's been up for a minute, I'm surprised it took so long, so I thought this would get a lot of interest, but. Yeah. But it's still sold for $35 shipped. 35 bucks. I think I spent 3 or $4 on it because I had to have it. Then we've got some pile speakers. It's a pair of them, new in an open box. Yep. And they sold for $30 shipped. They were free. Without a garage sale, he goes, you just take those. And I'm like, all right, cool. Then a $700 manual buy. We've got a volume one and two set of a 2009 Acura TSX. And that sold for $80 shipped. Not much manuals this weekend. That was mm -hmm. the one thing of all the, we've had a lot of weekend sales with manuals, but not this weekend. Then we've got an EnviroCare HEPA filter for Dyson, and that sold for $10 and some change. That was from our friends for free. They didn't need it anymore. Then we got a Nike baseball shirt for our one of our local teams, the Padres. Jersey, Jersey sorry. It is a 2XL, which obviously is a more desirable size, and it sold for $42 and a half shipped. And that was 10 bucks. I paid up for it, but I knew it would sell. Then we've got Disney's Tarzan for PS1, and that sold for $12 shipped. It is a black label game, by the way. Yes, it is. Then we've got a Bose power receiver um, for the surround speakers. Um, so it's supposed to be like virtually invisible, I guess. So you use this so you don't have to don't how, plug everything in. Well, I don't know. I, I don't it's know. That's what it says, but it sold for $40, bucks, right? I paid a dollar. Then the guy canceled and said his working, and then another guy bought it like immediately when I relisted it. So apparently these are desirable, forty yep, bucks. Forty bucks, and it's little and it's light, so go first class. Then we've got out of the seven hundred dollar manual buy. This is a Toyota twenty R repair manual for different ones, and it sold for twenty five dollars shipped. Then we got a golf club. This is a Kylie buy, and it is a Pure Spin. Gap wedge. Yeah. Helped her out. There you go. That's cool. One team, one dream. Then we got some shoes. These shoes, of all the shoes I've listed in a long time, I had more interest in these shoes. Um, these were on eBay, Mercari, and um, Poshmark. And I had the most likers on Mercari for this item and on Posh. No one would buy, but a lot of interest. They're DC. Uh, are they women's or youth? Women. So they're a DC women's shoe. They're a rebound high. They got, like, uh, colorful, like a, yeah, they're colorful, yeah, they're colorful they all kinds of stuff, and they do have leather on them as well. So, it's a really cool looking shoe, yeah. honestly, if you like want to stick out. But these it's got were, like the paint splatter look on it. Yeah, these were seven bucks. 
I have I DC shoes for me. It doesn't seem like it'd be a, like a super high end brand or anything, but they all we sell a lot of DC shoes. So seven bucks. And they sold for forty three dollars shipped. So pretty happy with those. Definitely worth it. Then we got a DVD. This is hijacked uh, PBS documentary, and it sold for ten and a half shipped. It is sealed. Then we've got Ghostbusters for Atari, cartridge only, and it sold for $18 shipped. Bought an Atari for $10. Bucks. It will, saw Ghostbusters there and knew it was a valuable enough game by itself. So that was Then good. we got an Xbox game. This is Midway Arcade Treasures, and it sold those. for 7 and a half shipped. That's probably why, because it's not that memorable. Seven and a half. Ooh, barely making anything. Next up, this is a vintage 80s Hanes BC t-shirt. So it is a single stitch made in the USA. I think, yeah, medium. It's a men's so medium. Small, small. And remember, men's medium in the 80s was like a small. Yeah. yeah. But it still sold for $35 shipped. I bought a bunch of shirts from a thrift store. There were two Hanes beefies, and there was a bunch of Screen Stars 50-50 USA shirts, different colors. They were $3.49 each, but they were all basically like dead stock. No tags or anything, but bought them, and they've sold for anywhere from $25 and up. So, pretty good deal. Then, we've got a Dymo tape writer. This is a 1011 tape writer. This one um, looks, looks good. It looks yeah, cool. it's super shiny. It's got some tape with it, I think, in the yeah, bottom. Yeah, it doesn't really work. I listed it for parts. This thing goes for a hundred and some bucks, perfect condition, working. Mine doesn't seem to, like, sometimes it seems to catch or whatever when the little ribbon's in there. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Hmm? No, I was trying not to go. Oh. So, I got it for 10 bucks. The guy really didn't know what he had. I knew it was valuable, but it ended up not working that well, but it's still sold for. $70 shit. 70 bucks. We'll take it, but look out for that Dymo 1011. If you find that one and it works, it could get 100 bucks. Then we got Earl Scruggs and the five string banjo, sold for $20 shipped. Then we have Sonic Advance 2 for I just Game got Boy. This. On Friday, I stopped at a garage sale, spent 40 bucks on a Game Boy. And I have an SSP with four games, and I didn't realize this was as valuable as it was, and it sold for $24 shipped. 24 bucks. Hey, BTW. So Cameron and I were out shopping this weekend, and the kids like to get those um, good to grow juices, right, with the characters on top. And he Googled to see oh, if yeah. they're worth any, or he eBayed to see if they're worth anything. And it turns out some of them are super rare, and people pay money. For just the what topper, was the one I you? Sonic is the most rare one, I oh, you guess. Them up? Uh huh. Because I I've been checking it every time I go to get the kids a juice. I'm checking. But I should. Oh, it was Rocket the raccoon. He sold for like twenty bucks. Yeah, but or Sonic does sell. The blue Sonic sells for twenty bucks every time. Yeah, I think Rocket the raccoon is like fifteen or sixteen, seventeen bucks. But so. these juices are three dollars a pop. Okay. Yeah. You buy them for your kids and the tops. If you don't buy the off. special cups that can replace them, which you have to find those, by the way. Um, then you just spend three dollars on One, six ounces of juice. It's the rip off, but the so, kids love but the, the kids love them. But if you see them yeah. in a garage sale, yeah, if you see a bunch of them, buy them because people actually buy them in lots. Yeah, that'll sell for a ton. Like if you have like but ten, you might get light. twenty bucks. You throw them in a bag. But and... if you find a rare one, some of the people collect them. I guess. So. Yeah, it's crazy. I the other day I saw a post about it. So. People do like to get the sets also, and it's weird. Also, you can buy a three pack, and it comes with a white holder for the three pack. And just the white holder itself will sell for six dollars. Yeah, it's one of those like weird for things. people to like <clears throat> stack their toppers on, I guess. Yeah, it's weird, but something to look out for Might if you're out little, there. Yeah, if you see it in the garage sale, someone's got a bunch of kitchen stuff, and they got all their kids' caps next. They maybe they kept them. Check them out. Check them out. If you and if you find one of the rare ones, hit us up, or if you know ones. Yeah, let us know if you have one. Maybe you've got one of the rare ones in your kitchen right now, yeah. and you're like, "Well, my kid doesn't need it anymore." Yeah, it's time to sell. <laughs> Anyways, next up, we've got a Hasbro Dream Life TV video game plug and play. Thing. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I guess you like. I'll put it on. Maybe you guys can see the back there. Can they see it? Yeah. So make well, new friends, yeah. choose a lifestyle, pick your fashion, Apparently create it was like your a, dream life. Yeah, it was like a big thing in the mid. Now they have apps for that. Yeah, but this thing was, it looks like it's brand new open box. It was $9.99 at our local thrift store. And I was think I was with Zane that day. I don't remember. But I knew what it was right away because I've seen, the, seen it before and it sold for. $100 100 bucks shipped for that. We sold a lot of like, sold an old Furby for 200 bucks, a Dream Life for 100 People are looking for those old it's toys like right old now. Toys. And we, again, we're going to say this. We said it before. Mercari and Facebook for the toys, it's been working for us. Yeah. Moving toys on those two platforms. So, kid stuff. Next up, we got a pair of Floor Shine Lexington men's shoes, and like those are for $28 shipped. They're like a dollar or two. I got them when I get all my 
shoes from the guy. So then we got a <clears throat> Sony remote. It's a little one for a Sony car in dash digital thing, and it sold for twelve dollars shipped. Twelve bucks are pretty good for a little remote. Then we've got teams by Artie Kuvion. Notable beach yeah. volleyball team sold That's for good. almost nineteen dollars ship. This is from the three fifty book buy, so still making money in that buy. There was a lot of sports ones, specifically volleyball and surfing. Yeah, they were from that buy. Whoever had them, I guess. Next up from our twenty twenty one camping trip. These, these are, are a pair these of are, if you wear these, you're like you you're you're confident. Yeah, they're coach um Mickey Suede cross strap shoes. I don't even really see them, but yeah. they're definitely like you notice them. They're pink and purple. But and they got the butt soles are in great shape. These are five bucks. I've always heard that coat shoes and all those fancy shoes are not very comfortable. I don't know. You're just really doing it for style, I think. Yeah, but those did sell for thirty dollars shipped. Those um were listed for like they're on sale for thirty eight bucks. Had them bought them for five. Um, I'm like, well, I'll take thirty. The lady offers me twenty. She goes, twenty five is my best. And I'm like, well, sorry. Like, no, she offered me fifteen. Twenty is my best. And she counted at twenty five. Like, because I said 30 is my best. And then she got her 25. I t did it again. I said 30 is my best. I'm sorry. And she bought him. <laughs> so I don't know. She was a hard negotiator. She was trying. I would, yeah, she was trying. I'm a hard negotiator, I guess. And then our next mm. sale is a pair of Skechers Delight. So my Grammy moved and she's downsizing. And she likes Skechers, but she literally only wears them for like a couple months and then she gets a new pair. So yeah, you could, there's a little there's, bit of mark on the bottom, but barely the side, anywhere. <laughs> yeah, and she's not like a jogger or anything. No, she just wears them. She says she wants to, 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 to pull weeds in the yard. Like she'll pick up a couple weeds every once in a while. She yeah. said, I barely use them. She so, gave for us to sell. I owe her an ice cream, she said, and we go up on vacation. So these sold for $35 shit. Skechers is another brand where it doesn't seem like DC. It's not like a super, even though I went to the Skechers store and it was like 150 bucks for some oh of their gosh, shoes. Oh my gosh, I went like, to try to get Nikes? some. Yeah, for my janitor job, I needed some no slip ones. And they're like charging like 100 bucks for some sneakers. And I'm like, yeah. okay, I'm going to go over to Nike like, and get some yeah. no slip sneakers for 25 bucks more. Yeah, it's exactly. ridiculous. I don't think they're that pricey. But use Skechers. We've sold some. They some do well. You know, it's one of those brands where I guess if you find some that you like, the comfort it works, you'll go ahead and, you know, keep buying it. Yep. And then our last one. Yep. Our last sale for the night is a pack of Mel Bay's Modern Guitar Teaching Books. There is... There's six of them, I think. Seven of them. Yeah, there's six of them, and then one's just a guitar or chord book. So. Yeah. But that set sold for $30 shipped. So that's everything we got. I mean, there is no time left, really. There's a little bit of time. We got left. about half an hour. We'll see what happens. Got a couple of clothing items we're pending, so we'll see what happens. We're gonna get this packed up. Linda's gotta get started. I gotta put Zane to bed, and then um, we'll see you guys in the next video for sure with what sells on Monday. All right, take care. Bye bye.